Hi, I'm Andrew Gallo, and uh, this little series that we're going to do here is basic web design and uh, building basic web pages with Dreamweaver. And uh, we're going to build some static pages, and then we're going to go in and convert them into uh, PHP pages. All right, so let's get started. The very first thing that I need to tell you about is that uh, I already have a web server running on my local computer. If I go right down here, I can see right there that my WAMP server is running. It is green, so that's how I know that it's it's online. Now also I could open up a browser and I could type localhost. And if it shows this page, then you know that it's running. All right, so now we've got our web server running. So that's what we're going to use to test with. Now we need to, first of all, define a site. So to, to define a site in Dreamweaver CS6, we're going to go down to manage sites make a new site let's call this site uh, Andy's YouTube demo now once in a where we're going to have the site files themselves. So where are we going to keep our HTML files and our pictures and everything else that's going to go on here. Now personally I like to develop right on my web server. So if I started at my computer I would go into C WAMP www and then inside here create a new folder and we're going to call this Andy's YouTube. Now you notice I didn't put any spaces, I didn't make any capitalizations or anything like that. So here it wants us to choose the root folder, and now that's it. So hit select, and now it knows that in the www, Andy's YouTube is where all of our files are going to be stored. Now since we have a server set up let's go ahead and go in here and eventually we're going to use PHP so let's go ahead and set it up for PHP because we know that we are going to eventually use it. So let's plus sign to set up the server and this is going to be a local server so I like to just use local for my server name we get to it using a local or a network connection and if you click on the folder here it's going to browse to the folder that we've already defined so select that now right now it's web URL will be localhost forward slash and then the name of the folder that everything resides in and then another forward slash now since we're going to use PHP, click the Advanced tab, go down to Server Model, and choose PHP and MySQL, and hit the Save button. Now for right now, it's going to be both our remote and testing server. Hit the Save. We're good there. If that's highlighted, you can hit Done here. Now before I do that, You'll see that I have some other different things in here. Dreamweaver allows you to work on and flip back and forth between multiple sites that you might have going, different projects you might have going. So this is just some different things I was playing around with. So we're going to go with this one's highlighted, and YouTube demo. Hit done. And now you can see here that that's where we're at and know that anything created down here is going to be in 
Andy's YouTube demo. The folder and everything. Alright, so that's defining a site. 